are back with another one. We're back with another banger after banger after banger. This is your boy, JJ. We got Javi over over here, right? Yeah, I'm pointing the right way. Yeah. And then yeah. you already know what it is. <laughs> they the twos and we the ones. ones. But anyways, man, we're cu- we have some exciting news. As you can tell, as you've probably already seen it. The the merch, the merch, the clean hoodies. Yeah, we got the shirts too, with with the beautiful logo. I know. Yep, extra large and up will be two dollars extra. <laughs> Plus should be in the handling. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it actually looks pretty good. I, I I really like it. Can't wait for mine. So. Hey, and we just want to say this that uh, whenever we reach a hundred subs, the we're gonna do a contest, and whoever wins gets a uh, gets a free merch. All right, Let's there we go. go. Let's go, man. That's it. All right, cool. So, what's up, bro? How's everything been going? I know you you probably probably been tired as always. You're always sleeping. It's been, You're always sleeping. It's been going. It's been going. Um, a little bit, a little bit stressed out sometimes. At least at the beginning of the week, I was having a terrible weekend well more like monday and i mean sunday and monday because of my fantasy football matchup had me like stressed out and mm, the dude that doesn't have me stressed out because i'm done with mine so. well bro i'm in the playoffs <laughs> right now and like literally i had a really good lead i was up by like 50 points until the Raiders and uh, the Raiders and Seahawks game went into overtime, and then Josh Jacobs decided to have a god tier freaking run, and yeah, and I ended up well, losing I by had, ten at that point. Hey, but mine was worse. I had one running back, two wide receivers against the kicker, and I lost by one point. Yeah, Bro, how does that happen? I was actually how does that I was, I was paying how does that attention. happen? I was paying attention to that, bro. I mean, how the hell does that even happen? Like, that makes no sense I felt, at I all. I felt sad for you. Like, I felt... Bro, it almost felt like fact, Zach Levine so. was playing for my team. Like, Patrick it was Williams. almost that bad. Come on, man. More like Patrick Both of Williams. Them. Both of them. Damn. So, yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. The uh, but, the other thing I wanted to tell you uh, that you already know, but they don't know, as they can already see that I'm missing uh, half of... Uh, my face is looking a little bit chunkier without my beard. But I also cut off the uh, the the little man bun ponytail, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I, cu- I, I cut that off. So the man bun. Yeah, it was get it was getting <laughs> on my nerves. It was actually stressing me out. So yeah, um, but anyway. yeah, it's better. It's cleaner that way. Looks good. Thank Looks you. Good. Thank you. But uh, anyways, man, what about Thank you? you. <laughs> <laughs> no man, uh, same shit, different day. Uh, obviously, this this time of year gets a little stressful. Uh, you're trying to make time, uh, and that's the one thing that we don't have a lot of usually. Uh, that's why sometimes the episodes aren't um, aren't consecutive, or we don't have we're, we're not that consistent. Just because it's like uh, to get both of us on this at the same time, it's it's really hard. We both have families, terrible, we both yeah. have work schedules are all over the place. Sometimes they change right in the middle. We're like, man, I can't can't make it today. Yep. But, uh, but yeah, but I mean, we'll keep on we'll keep on doing it. We'll keep on trying to have fun. Uh, making sure you guys have fun. Uh, I mean, it's just a it's just a good thing. This is actually one of our one of our de stressors. This is one of our therapies. Fox. We we love we love uh, making the show for you guys. We love talking about the stuff we love. So we just hope you enjoy it too. Yeah. If you and, and whatever you guys want, just let us know. Tell us in the tell us in the comments. That's a fact. Right? The only thing that I, I do want to throw out there is that uh, sorry guys for the last episode that I was yawning like every. Uh, Probably like every ten seconds. It was one o'clock. Right. It was one o'clock in the morning over here, man. I, I'm a dad. It was late as fuck for me. I'm sorry. Nah, it happens. It happens. So yeah. It's okay. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and start <laughs> off. Start it off. We Got have it. some very nice topics to talk about. Yeah. And a lot happened this weekend. We had yes. a, a beautiful moment that happened on War Games. That I want to start off with that. Mm-hmm. The War Games bloodline match versus everybody else. Let's just put it like that because I don't want to mention all of them. 
But uh, the brawling brutes and KO and uh, Drew. That's too many people. But uh, anyways. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but is Sammy part of the bloodline or not? Hey, after that That's match, awesome. after that match, literally, man, I felt like I was watching a movie. Like I was watching a telenovela. Yeah. That it just that hit me. Cool. It hit me with everything. It hit me with like anger, some sadness, then happiness at the end. You know what I mean? Like, and, and throughout the whole show, whenever they were having promos, like it's crazy. You know what I mean? Usually in pay per views, you don't get promos. No, no. Yeah, but it's the bloodline. Even the backstage, now. backstage, uh, uh, backstage segments and everything, and it, everything just added. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was just enough. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I've said before, I have no idea who the hell is writing the story, which I still think it must be Paul Heyman. But <laughs> shut up! <laughs> but it must be it must be Paul Heyman, and if it is him, I mean it's it's just brilliant because they're and it seems like whenever you think they're about to jump the cliff, they pull you back a bit. They take you right to the edge where you're like, oh shit, here we go, here we go, here no, we go, here we go, no. and just pull back a bit. They're like, oh okay, all right, cool. And then two weeks come by, and they're like, oh shit, here we go again. Oh man, it's gonna happen! It's gonna happen! No, no, nope, it didn't back. happen. It didn't Go back. happen. Yeah, <laughs> talk about milking a story. That is a fact. Damn, bro! Like it's uh, been what two years, right? It was basically through for the uh, through the whole for the pandemic whole stuff. Thing or just the same? Yeah. Thing? No, the whole the whole bloodline thing that started what? Uh, At the end right of when the pandemic. Right at the beginning, I think. No, right? it was towards the end because that's whenever Roman came out, came back. <laughs> He came out during SummerSlam. Mm, it was kind of like the middle, because it was like, what, 2021? Because Roman's had the title for how long already? Uh, go on eight, Over 800 days. Over 800 days? Yeah, so it's been two yeah, so years. At, well, so at least, at least yeah, two, two, so years. That's, uh, two years and a half. So at least two years they've been with the whole bloodline thing. Yes, in SummerSlam crazy. of 2020. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Two years, almost two years and a half. Shit. Yeah, bro. Come on, man. Roman Damn. Reigns is just on another level. He's Black Adam right now. No. Come on. What? He's 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 Come great, on. but he's he's not Black Adam. What do you mean? Right now he's the, the Rock is Black Adam. Shut the fuck up. Come on, man. We'll talk the about Tribal Chief. We'll talk about that because I I watched that movie yesterday. The head of the and table. I, I never told you. I, I I didn't I didn't think I told you. The owner of the house. <laughs> <laughs> El que compra todo. Um, El que todo lo compra. <laughs> um, but uh, man, uh, um, anyways, going back into that that match. Um, where where can I start? Like Jay Uso's going in there with Pete Dunne. And that was a beautiful oh, the, start. And, like, you just want to see that match. Like, an actual one-on-one match. Like, with no interruptions and nothing. Because you already know. In a cage. Yeah, just that, that would go. be so gold, bro. Then uh, then whenever... Bro, when they were looking... Well, but then when they were looking at each other, when they were just staring at each other, they were kind of daring each other, like, all right, come on. Then Pete Dunn went back. He's like, all right, cool. I'll let you come in. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That was just... They didn't do anything. <laughs> Yep. Anything. Not a punch, nothing. But there was still an impact. Mm-hmm. That to me, that's that's storytelling. That's making your movements important. They did more in in, in, in that small section than most people do with the whole flippy bullshit. Just flipping around for no reason. Doing absurd things. Getting <laughs> injured. Getting hurt. Damn, why are you talking about ricochet but, like that, bro? But uh <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> But uh, well, it's because you people all jumping around like fucking Braun Strowman with this. What all uh, these flippity and, flops? But uh, 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 <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? So then after that, whenever uh, what's his name? I always forget his name. What the fuck is his name? Oh, uh, Rich Holland. Rich Holland. Whenever Rich Holland came out, I, I mean, he didn't get a single pop out of that crowd. That crowd was quiet as hell whenever that man came out there. And he was trying to get the crowd into it, but he could not get any of No, but he's still new. He, he's still new. Yeah, too. I know. But I, like, honestly, just, of all the people, I think he of sucks. all the people in the. No, but I mean, I mean, you can give a you, you can give that guy. Didn't you tell me that he was that he wasn't good, but he wasn't bad or something like that? Or, or he he's wasn't mid. terrible. He's mid. Like, nah, he's, 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 he's below he, mid. He's 
No, he's not terrible, bro. Like below <laughs> mid is your girl. Who? Dana Brooke. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Bailey. No, no, she's <laughs> she, she's she's elite level. Yo, which by the way, my wife told me that I need to get a better crush. Okay. She said that Bailey, uh, it's not good looking enough for uh, for uh, to be my crush. I'm like, damn. Can I be? Who's Man- your crush now? Can I be Mandy Rose? It's like, nah. <laughs> 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 but uh, yo, Mandy. <laughs> hey, yo, Mandy. But um, anyways, um, whenever the second the second timer went off and Jimmy was about to go out there and help his brother out. But then Roman said, nah, and grabbed him. Yes. The little things, bro. Sammy's going. The little things. Yes. Yes. That changed the whole complexion of the match. Yes. It was It was amazing. I'm just, just like, that. the God. Yo, yo like, oh. Roman reminds me so much of, like, the Godfather in, in a mafia. Yeah. That's what, like, that is yeah. literally what he is right now. Yeah. No, it, it, it it's... It, like I said, it's just those little things. That's what that's what makes the story great. It's not just about the matches. It's the whole package. The matches are just a, a means a means to an end, I guess. Just yeah. to you know, just to wrap up whatever part of the story. But the whole story is just great, and it's not a crazy, twisted story with a bunch of swerves and stuff. No, it's just very straight up, very straightforward. This is what's going on, and then they always find whenever the story is getting a little stale. They always add something. Yep. Like we saw that at first when you had when you had a, a Jimmy, uh, Jimmy and Roman, and then Jay came, uh, Jimmy came back, and then boom, had him. All right, cool. Then we're you know doing the whole thing. Then that started getting a little stale. Then you had Sammy, which is a complete uh, 180. Who would have thought? Then after that, who the fuck would have hmm, thought? Yeah. I would. I thought that was gonna go nowhere fast. I thought that was gonna get. Well, his that ass was supposed to be it. like two weeks. I mean, that was supposed was to be like good, a maximum. But he was too month. good. <laughs> and he, was, he was too, too good. good at having everybody break out of character. Yeah, and then, uh, and then after that, you had Solo come in, which he adds a whole nother element to to everything. Yep. Because they're always gonna have the numbers game. Because there's no other faction that's as big as that. That's true. Or that. Or that has a talent that they have, because a lot of them are like, for example, like Imperium. Yeah, they can go against them, but it's four against three. That's true. In fact, you could just have you could just have Roman waiting outside, and just the other uh, the other guys work on it, and it and and they're still ahead. You it's imagine? Five guys. You imagine Solo versus uh, Gunther? Oh, oh, the gold! That would be fantastic. That would be crazy. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. I don't think Solo's ready for that yet, right now. At no, least for no, no, for no. Gunther. Yeah. For Gunther, give it, give it, get, let him breathe a little bit. But when that happens, that's gonna be fucking crazy. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be absolutely great. And then the chops, oof. That's gonna oh, be. That's yeah. gonna hurt. Uh, it's gonna a hurt. Hard knock fight. But um, mm-hmm. then throughout the whole match, whenever Sammy comes out and he is helping Jay, he actually pulls Jay from about to get kicked or something like that, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Man, I got you." And throughout the whole match, they kept going back and forth. Jimmy came out. Drew came out. Um, KO came out. Solo came out. Wait, I'm missing somebody. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Solo yeah, came and out, then, and then they had that thing. And then um, Solo did a spinning solo on Drew through the table. Yes. Then uh, accidentally, Jay, Jay kicks Sammy. And then Jay just looks over him like, "Damn, man, that kind of felt, that kind of felt good." Yeah. And then Jimmy was about to Jimmy's start like, well, fighting with him, and then he's like, "Yo, let's focus." Like, you know what I mean? And then we got we got the beautiful one D from the turnbuckle. Yes. Come Perfect. on. Perfect. Come on. Perfect. And then guess who came out? The head of the table. That, yo, did you notice? Did you notice how the, <laughs> the the whole crowd got up for Roman Reigns to come out without even a entrance music? He didn't come out with an. Oh yeah, yeah, no, true, yeah, true. yeah. They didn't come no, out. No, because they did the entrance at the beginning of the of the match. Correct. Right before they went in. Yeah. Correct. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, one small detail that I wanna that I wanna throw in there that I liked was that everybody everybody was matching. They were the bloodline, so they were wearing red. Which, by the way, for some reason, Bobby Fish tried to tag 
the bloodline and saying that they were copying them. And it's like, bro, Bobby Fish, I'm sorry, but you are not even going to come to the ankles. Like, the Undisputed Era is not even going to come to the ankles of the bloodline. I mean, let's be honest. The Undisputed Era was good. But in the end of the day, I, I don't know if it was real or if it was a rib. They just, you know, just it's just uh, to mess around. But in the end of the day, they're not... The Undisputed Era is not the first people to wear a red shirt. That's a fact. Let's just put it that way. So... Not copying anybody, they're just saying something either, either to as a joke or just to try to be relevant. Yeah, trying to, he's trying to get to the island of relevancy. Facts, <laughs> a lot of people are trying to get there. We're, yeah. t- we're trying, we're almost yeah. Yeah. now. Now, one thing that was that was that was that was interesting with the match was one Roman with the dad pants. Dad pants, what do you mean? Yeah, that with the with the cargoes, <laughs> he looked like, like the shield cargo, t- he's always wearing or- those. Are you sure of those? Bro, he's know, always kind of, wearing them. There's, there's, something was, uh, somebody put something on the, uh, well, he was supposed to wear, the, like he was supposed weird, to wear there's... red. He was gonna, oh, he was okay, gonna wear red pants and then he yeah. didn't like Let me the, get my car goes. No, 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 he didn't like the material. Bruh. <laughs> he was being petty. He didn't like the material and said, you what know is what? What is it, velvet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he said, you know what? No, nah, I'm just gonna go to, my the, to the cargo, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, yeah, man. Okay. he looks badass. But man. I, but look, I knew, I knew that they were gonna win. You know what? Sponsored you know by when? Glacier Isle. We're not sponsored by Glacier right now, but if you want to, please call us. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can get that your uh, right aid. <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually two for three dollars. On special, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, but but I knew it because he had the chili pepper necklace. Come on, you and this fucking bro, he had... chili pepper necklace. Can I get this for Christmas? Has Please. he ever Can lost with a chili pepper necklace? He always wears it. Of course not. Exactly. He's never so he lost. Hasn't lost. He hasn't lost in two years. Now the now the <laughs> one day now the one day he doesn't bring it, that's the day he'll lose. Yeah, sure. That's what it is. I'm telling you, it's a chili pepper necklace that makes all the difference in the world. Also, uh, uh, wait, never mind. I- I'm jumping the gun. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so then he comes out. Then everybody, you have you have the bloodline on one side. You have the brawling brutes with KO and Drew McIntyre on the other side. And then they're just staring at each other. And then they go ahead and they just start swinging at each other. And then, and then, I'm just gonna skip all this stuff that happened in between. Because we had a beautiful spear through the table on, um, what's his name? God damn it, what's his name? I forgot. Drew Holland. No, um, Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland, there you go, that guy. <laughs> Drew Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I stay forgetting his name. And then you had that. Then you had the 1D. Then you had this. And then you had that. And then you had Sheamus versus Roman just face to face. Then you had KO versus Roman face to face. And then out of nowhere... KO is st- he's about to pin Roman after the stunner that he hit him with. Hey, what, by the way, what, that what? that se- that sequence was good. Oh when, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah, uh, yeah. When KO, out, I actually, I was like, oh no, I was like, oh, I didn't, shit. I, didn't, I, didn't like, I knew, I knew. Come on, man, I wrote it. I, I, <laughs> I, I knew, but it put some doubt. I was like, whoa, 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 because uh, once he hit the, when once he hit the stunner. That's when I was like, "Oh shit!" Because he hit the power bomb, and then the stunner. Can can, can I just can I? I'm, I'm gonna throw this out there, bro. The stunner is not that hard of a move, bro. The bro, it's, stunner, it's, the it's stunner. wrestling logic, bro. It's wrestling logic. Look at the spear, bro. The spear is ten times better. Look at the, than the Superman punch. <laughs> the, Look at the Superman the punch. Superman punches ass. I think Roman yes. should get rid of that. But yes, that the stunner the, is the, so dumb. The AA, that's weak as hell. What do you mean? You're literally slamming somebody into the fucking map, bro. Bro, it looks weak. It, well, the stunner looks look weak. weak. Que te hagan uno porque tú ya como vas a estar dando vueltas como mamá. What, a, what is supposed to hurt from that besides the kick in the balls? Your neck and your chin. It falls literally on your shoulder. That shit does not hurt. hurt like a motherfucker. Bro, with KO, he no? got so much cushion on that shoulder, bro. I, I think I'll, I'll be good. Bro, it's nice and pillowy. 
But <laughs> anyway, so then whenever KO was pinning him, you got the one, you got the two, and then all all of a sudden the it doesn't hit three because Sami Zayn gets involved and he stops the ref and holds yes. his arm from counting to three. And that's I'm whenever shocked. they were staring at each other. And the KO said, Is is this your family? And and Sammy's like, Yes, this is my family. And then he's he's grabbing Roman Reigns by the hair, and then you already know Roman Reigns is playing it off like he's he died. And <laughs> and Jimmy hey, that- Jimmy's about to super kick him and then he just catches it. <laughs> and then what happens next? Ding dong, hello. The low blow. <laughs> yep. The low blow. The ultimate betrayal in WWE terms. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. I was like this while watching this. Yeah, it worked. Next time we're doing a live, bro. Just to. Uh, now, n- now, now, now the cool thing is, and, and I'm, I know we're going to talk a little bit about Raw, but, but one thing I did love that when Kevin Owens did his promo on Raw, Yo, he, uh, chill. He, it's not wait, yet. I want the no. Nah. Uh, 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 no. Yes, wait, wait, wait. What I'm I was gonna, gonna say is that video. they're 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 shut up. <laughs> they're talking about it. he's no that he's talking about the past. Like he's acknowledging that part of the past of yeah, what happened yeah, before. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's one thing, and that's one thing I've loved of uh, the Triple H regime. It, uh, it's um, is that that they actually acknowledge the past and they try to get some continuity it's not like oh whatever happened anywhere doesn't matter like hell even when the oc came out or whatever they're talking about new japan and wcw and all that stuff i'm like damn like they're actually Mentioned. recognizing who these people are yeah. and that's good because we all know it yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Techni- uh, hardcore yeah. fans will know that yeah exactly plus it gives them more credibility if you're just gonna drop them in like you know yeah but anyways um, but anyways, after the low blow, damn man, you stay getting off topic, Javi. Get in topic. No. Get your prime <laughs> drink out of here with that Logan Paul. It's shit. not prime drink. What the fuck is it? Monster. It's water. Hydro. You shouldn't be drinking that, especially at that time, bro. Come on, man. Hydro. We're not a sponsor. Get that shit out of here. Well, I put it. No, you did it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it's not made in Puerto Rico. It's not the Logan Paul one. Bacalito flavor. So then, Sammy push. Uh, he, uh, I mean, KO falls to the turnbuckle, and then Sammy's just staring at Roman, and then just Roman just shakes his. He nods his head. I was gonna say shake. He nods his head, and then and then that's whenever Sammy gets the cue to Haluva kick. Did I say yeah. it right? Yeah, Haluva yeah. kick. Haluva kick KO. And then KO just dramatically falls into him. And he's just holding him. And Jay climbs into the turn and look it gets to the turnbuckle and he looks at Sammy and he just throws KO and it gives him the signal. The ultimate like, sacrifice. Yes. And Jay just hits him with the frog splash. And you get the one and the two and the three. And the bloodline is victorious. And at the end, we got the most magical moment of 2022 in wrestling in WWE 2022 year. Sorry, I was going to say wrestling history. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that in another episode. But uh, we, got, we got the most beautiful moment of Jay hugging Sami Zayn and accepting him into the bloodline. It just made Bro, it. this was you while you were watching it. You were like Dude, this. I was like crying. And you were crying. You were like, oh. I was crying. Oh. Literally. Like, like just, it's, it was so beautiful. You're like, oh my God, they were so little. Facts. <laughs> Even my wife after break. watching that, she was like, oh my God, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, but, um. Bro, yeah, it man. It like was an '80s movie or something. They did they it. They did it. Yeah. They did it. You Lo logramos, see. Sí. You can do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. It was it was beautiful. Uh, honestly, the fact that they were all together at the end. Um, yeah. You know, uh, everybody looks strong. I feel Solo looks strong. Sammy looks strong. Both. Oh, everybody. Even the was... even the one even the brawling brutes look look strong. Yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. looks strong. Except Rich Holland. 
I just don't like him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but I think you would you would love a tag team between him and uh, Mad Cat Moss. Actually, a faction: Mad Cat Moss, oh, him, God. and Baron Corbin. I will probably the just team. I will probably just uh, end the channel there. <laughs> but, well, that's um, the pee break. Yeah, but I think um, you just call them the Bulls. That's fine. Oh my God. But um yeah man and then we got we go to Monday Night Raw and then they have a they have a promo and Jay he just does his dap uh, I, I can't I oh. can't do it bro it's hard I'm sorry it's difficult Yo I thought it was I thought it was a beautiful <laughs> moment whenever whenever uh the Usos are with Sammy and then they're like yeah. calling solo for the group hug that shit was awesome. And the fact that people are make, trying to make shit up about little things like, oh, Solo, he may know some things that we don't know. He may, he, he's the, he, he was sent by the, what was it? By the ancestors? By the elders or something. Elders, <laughs> by the elders to keep a watch on Roman to not get out of line. Bro, this shit is not, come on, man. This is not the boys from Amazon. Like, none of that shit. Like, come on, stop no. it. Like, oh, are they? Are are people are thinking that all stories are like uh, Bray Wyatt? Not everything is the White Rabbit, where you see some random light in the background, and you scan it with your phone, and then when you go and you see a random video that you don't know what the fuck it means, <laughs> and then you have people on the internet making ten thousand videos on the same thing, and then it's like, well, yeah, we found that there's a record store in New Jersey, and this, uh, was... bro, yeah, how do you have time to do that shit, bro? Um, a lot of people that breathe through their mouth normally and that don't go outside and touch grass normally have more time to do things like that than us. So pretty Good much God. like 75% of Bulls Nation is pretty much doing that. Mm, Bulls Nation has other issues. <laughs> but that's fine. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> but uh but yeah, but uh, but but going back to going back to what we were saying about Solo it it is uh, like it, it does bother me that people are starting to say like oh yeah he's gonna turn or whatever it is no it's just that that's his personality his personality is to be a bodyguard just like I told you earlier today when Shawn Michaels and Diesel Diesel didn't say shit even though Kevin Nash was always great on the mic but what he was a bodyguard so what did he say nothing nothing he just because that was his there. job yeah yeah when you're when when you have a, a uh, uh, an artist or a celebrity, whatever it is, and they have bodyguards. What do the bodyguards normally say? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> That's their job. Their job is not to talk. Their job is to kick ass. Uh, That's well, what their job is, to protect the celebrity. And on top of That's that... That's what they're doing. They're on protecting, on top of they're that, protecting the family. I'm pretty sure Solo doesn't want to break out of character again. Bro, I, I, I don't, but I don't know who's worse, him or Jay. Because Jay, Cause Jay <laughs> bro, Jay... Cause, cause at least solo, solo is not. He doesn't look mad. He's just there, stoic. He's just there, looking like no expression. Yo, Jay. But Jay is like, Jay's like, oh, mm, I'm all pissed off. Like, mm, yeah. mm, mm. and then all of a sudden he's like, mm. yeah. Like you just see him turn to the back because he cannot. Like Yo. whenever Sammy says some kind of weird, uh, some kind of random shit, he, he's he hey. just cracks up. He can't. Hey, yo, my dog. He, <laughs> yo, did you, yo, did I sent you uh, uh over the weekend on Sunday? They had a match. They had they 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 were doing a house event, a house show. Oh, and the, the, the... yeah, no, 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 no. But besides <laughs> that, besides that, Solo's coming out from the entrance, right? And he's yeah. just there, like with the towel over his head, and just you know standing like Umaga and all that stuff. And then and then Sammy's coming up. Literally Which with a microphone. In the pay per view. Yeah, facts. Uh, he's uh, Sammy's coming up with a microphone, and he's like, "This guy right here," and he's point, uh, pointing at Solo. This is my dog, and yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, Solo literally had to cover his face with a towel because he was about to start dying, bro. Like he does play it's it off better so than perfect. Jay. He does play it off better than Jay. But uh, Jay, man, Jay, Jay can't act worth a shit, man. <laughs> Jay cannot hold it no. back. No, he cannot hold it back. It's like, 
<laughs> it's it's like that time when Roman was there. That Roman was like, "Okay, come here," and he was about to leave, and he's like, "No, no, no, come no, here, no, come no, here. no, no, trying no. to trying to." And then Roman laughed, and then it kind of diffused the whole situation. Yeah. But when he's by himself, bro, there's no way. <laughs> it, it it's awesome. It it's really great. But uh, it's like uh, when um, it's like I don't know if you remember a few it was a few weeks ago when um, uh, Sammy said yeet. <laughs> then oh Jay's like, you God. can't say yeet. It's like, why are you guys having an argument over this shit? <laughs> it's just so good. It's so yeah. good because that's like an actual family, like family. Yeah, well, like they're, that, like they're getting, they're getting, they're at the level of. Um, I know you're gonna say, oh no, whatever, but uh, of Jericho when he put over stupid idiot. Oh my God! Because who who you gets just made stupid, the list? Yeah, stuff like that, which is stupid, and he knew it was stupid, right? Oh. That's the level these people are, these people are doing it, but they're doing it as a whole family, which is harder. It's Yo, nuts. This shit. It's nuts. <laughs> whenever, whenever, whenever he was talking about uh, Ellsworth, is it El- Elmsworth? James Ellsworth. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever he was outside, <laughs> outside, he said, he said, "Excuse me, somebody just lost a child." <laughs> <laughs> He's standing over at ringside. Can somebody just pick up, pick up their weird child? <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> I don't know who you Fatality. are. Flawless victory. But you just made the list, bro. That shit was <laughs> hilarious, bro. I used yeah. to hate Jericho, but whenever he came up with that shit, that shit was funny. Yeah, he's <laughs> one of those guys that you that you hate, but you're like. <laughs> good like Yo, you gotta respect yeah. him like no matter yeah, how much yeah. you hate him you're like yeah this this, this guy's good you just but, made the but list. yeah yeah but that whole thing I, I i am actually still bouncing around i don't know who's my favorite member of the bloodline because usually it's jay but then i'm like sammy's cool as hell and i like solo because you know i love solo so i'm always like i don't know i don't know so you're talking they're, about they're just you're all talking about, just all you're talking about bloodline members Besides Roman Reigns, like Roman Reigns is separate. Yeah, but yeah, because Roman. I, okay, okay. I, I don't really count him in that because he's Roman, whatever. I'm talking about the other guys. Uh, you know, it's like it's like kind of like, um, you know, who's who's your favorite? Uh, um, Ellie Laker. Oh, it's Kobe Bryant. Whatever it is, you know, whatever everybody says that. Or who's your favorite bull? Oh, it's uh, Michael Jordan. No, like who's your other guy? That that's what makes it interesting because everybody's gonna say that. Yeah. So tell, so, uh, leave us down in the comment section. Who's, your, who's favorite, your favorite? Who's your favorite bloodline uh, guy? Who That's not it? Roman Reigns. That is not Roman Reigns. You got Paul Heyman, you got Solo. Oh, Paul Heyman. I you got Jimmy. You got Jay, and you got Sammy. Mm-hmm. So who who are you gonna pick out of those five? Let us know and why. Yes. We'll give you a actually. Shout we should out make on a poll. Yeah, yeah. We should make a poll. That'd be cool. We'll do yeah, that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Next couple of days, yeah. Um, right, but cool. uh, but yo, KO. Then then uh, after that promo, KO comes out, and then he just you kind of like felt it, like you know what I mean. Like my wife was like, "Do you think that they're like playing it off and things like that?" I'm like, "No, like I think this stuff, like some stuff, yes, you can you can talk about it with a script that they're giving you, but for, for like when some of these guys, especially with the bloodline stuff, most of that stuff is just like, hey, you they created." They, well, it's with they, some people. With, yeah, it's, with, it's only it's, it's only with a, with a few that get that the creatives. Leave yeah, it. but I but I can guarantee with with uh with like KO and Lulan, whatever it is, they're not giving him an actual script. They're just telling him bullet points. Yeah. This is what we need. It's not like and what he said was from the heart, bro. Like I I could like you know what I mean. It was legit. Like you know. And it made sense, and that's why. Like when you referenced that he did the same thing to Sammy. Yeah. In the past, which I knew. I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, you know what? That's cool. Because normally they don't talk about shit that happened a few years ago. They never talk about it. It's like it never happened. Yeah. But this time they actually went in and it, talk, but, it makes the story better. Because we're talking about sense. literally yeah, almost two sense. different families. Because they're basically brothers. Uh, and uh, and the bloodline obviously is, is a family. So it makes sense. That's, that's why I think it works. It's so natural. Yeah. Like these guys are just... I mean, I mean, I, I mean, like just, they, they were, this is perfect. This they is were perfect. ultimate buddies. Like, you know what I mean? Like he yeah. was in, like Edge and Christian. Yeah. He, he was the best man at uh, Sammy Sane's wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so this is were, a big deal. So, yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. And that's why it worked. That's why it, it, it was natural. Yeah. And you and you could actually feel it. You're like, damn. Like if you just suspend your disbelief for a little bit, 
you're like, oh shit, like this actually happened. Yeah. Like, oh damn, damn, that sucks. So oh. like, so like after all of this stuff that we just talked about, I know we literally went on like a thirty minute uh, talk about this stuff. But come on, man, the bloodline stuff is we like had to. gold. Blood. That's, that, why that's where the good. money. That's why is. raw was good. Yeah. yeah, raw was good because of that. And yeah. because we have gotten a character change, and we'll talk about that soon, on the newest United States champion. Yes. Um. Damn, I lost my train of thought. No, I got it. No, we're talking uh, about who uh, do you? Who do you, who do you think? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Sorry. Yeah. So, where do you think this is gonna go? So right now, it looks like the rumors are that KO is gonna fight Roman at the Rumble. But you know the internet's always right, but um, <laughs> but uh, exactly, but um, no, but honestly, if it is that, and and I know we were we were arguing about this the other day, I think it's a good, uh, it may be a good feud. One, obviously, uh, Ko can work; he can cut a promo, and you could actually have it where neither of them has to look necessarily weak. Because you could have Sammy interfere in his match with Roman, and then he just goes away, and then they both wrestle at WrestleMania. And then Roman, okay, he won another match. It makes him look good. Hey, he got another win in the board. And he has to wrestle at, at, at the Rumble. It's too big of a pay-per-view to not have a championship match. And especially, and especially when you have one champion with both titles. If you at least had, if you're telling me, Hey, you have a, a, a Drew McIntyre with one and Roman with the other. Okay, you could have Drew McIntyre at least defend one. And then Roman could just, you know, uh, stay home or whatever it is. Or just show up and, you know, cut a promo or, or whatever. But whenever you have this one guy, I mean, come on now. Like, he, he has to wrestle. There's no way around it. Because if not, what are we going to do? Have him wrestle, you know, five times a year, five defenses? I don't want to have that either. I don't want him to look yeah, but that weak either. It hasn't been that way. Just, just, I'm just saying that. But anyways, mm, kind of. Um, I don't know. I kind of don't want to see this feud again, just because KO lost three times already, and it's like, it kinda, mm. like I told you, he kind of they gives cheated me, him out of it. The Roman cheated. So yeah, but you told me the other day that he has to win by interference. So what the fuck? So you're okay with him cheating again? What I'm saying, no. What I'm saying is, in the case of of Ko, like he does have a rightful reason why he's fighting Roman. Yeah, I because he's like, bro, you haven't beat me. You haven't beat me clean. So then, so, why can't he beat him clean this time? Because Roman's a heel. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I'm just giving you a reason why they're gonna fight. Damn excuses, bro. That's all it is. It's it's it is an it is an excuse. It's a reason for them to fight. <laughs> Whatever. That's it. I That's think, it. So who so I think who do you think he should coming face? back and literally becoming the new Goldberg? No, he's not becoming the new Goldberg. He's, he's becoming way better the, wrestler than Goldberg. New Goldberg. Way better. Literally, wrestler than he Goldberg. comes back. He comes. Bro, out. he does everything better than he Goldberg. He comes out and he cuts a promo better than Goldberg. He actually has talent. Championship. No, match. he does. He has only had the championship once. Bullshit. Once, and he Bullshit. won it in Houston. That's true. And you know how Only he once. won it? How did he win it? Because Triple H gave it to him. Exactly. Yeah, but because but because it's he the same thing. Bro, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens wasn't the main actor oh in that in that storyline. It was Seth Rollins. It was Triple H betraying Seth Rollins. That's why they did it. KO was just a guy that happened to be there. Yeah. That's basically what it was. Sure. It wasn't like he had a great dominant reign. It was just, hey, let's hold just, this real quick because I got to take care of Seth. That's what it make, was. That's, let's just make more excuses for that bum. He's not a bum. Bro, in terms of wrestling, no. Hell no. No, nah, no. Nah, he's good. Hell he's no. Good. He's good. Bro, he, yes. And you know it. He's a bum. He's the next he's Goldberg. Not. He's not the best. You know how. You know Actually, how, Roman you know Reigns how is closer big, to being a Goldberg you know than Kevin than Owens uh, is. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You know how he big... He is, bro. Come on. Bro, Roman... Yo, Goldberg... Bro, Roman Reigns can't Goldberg do half of the shit Goldberg has not that, even that, hold the title for longer than a year and a half. Why are you mentioning... Why are you bringing Goldberg into this shit? Goldberg sucks. Because KO he's is always the sucks. next Goldberg. He's not the best... He's, bro, no. 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 Look. No. Look. Ridge Holland's the next Goldberg. 
Shut the fuck up. No. Yeah. They're going to give him the title. <laughs> I would just, I would literally just quit my job. I would quit doing this. I could you imagine? I live in a box. If that no, could you imagine? No, could could you imagine? They have like a random squash match, and he he gets a three count because the 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 referee fucks up or something. As soon as like, uh Rich or, or like, or, <laughs> like oh shit, or like somebody it's just falls before, unconscious. They just like yeah. Get knocked like, out. What do I do? What do I do? Just pin him. Uh, oh shit, <laughs> Sammy! I know, right? Where the fuck are you? You imagine but, you uh, imagine he's about to pin uh yeah, yeah. So uh I guess you're gonna have to pin a three and then he just catches a cramp on his arm just to play it <laughs> off. Give him more time and then uh somebody comes out and fucking rescues this shit. Yeah. So yeah. But um anyways, man, so so you think it's gonna go to KO, like having another match with I mean, KO? I think it make it makes it, uh, I'm not saying that I necessarily think it's gonna happen. I'm I'm not one hundred percent sure. But it makes sense. Like in terms of, it's somebody. It's a it's a credible opponent. He can take an L. It's fine. Whatever the reason may be, because the end game is to face Sammy, not to face Roman. That's okay. where their match should probably be in WrestleMania. Them two, Sammy and and KO. I unless think. unless they join to go against the Usos, which is another possibility. I think if it does happen, um. Bro, what? I'm sorry. I'm getting off topic, but you know what I just noticed? What? That I fucking hate spring water. And then I don't know if you can. Me too. It tastes heavy. Uh, can you read it? I've got a. It says, "Naturally alkaline spring water," <laughs> and I was just about to say. Yo, this water is actually good. No, Damn, I hate it. bro. It tastes I heavy. Like, I don't it's like it feels I, heavy. I don't want to drink this shit anymore. It's like now I'm playing. Hey, man. Great sponsor. Honestly, this water is legit. Um, <laughs> like all jokes aside, it, it does taste good. I, I, To be honest with you, if it would have never said spring water, I would have never even noticed that it was spring water. Because spring water has a little bit of a, of a different flavor compared to like uh, purified water like Fiji or some shit like that. Fiji. Even, even though Fiji is like Fiji's Fiji. pure Fiji's purified by the rocks so of fucking Hawaii or whatever. <laughs> that's, that's what it says on oh, the yeah. back of the bottle. <laughs> uh, okay, Dasani. All right, Kyrie. Uh it's all right. <laughs> I did wear my Kyrie's today to work, so I was Fuck feeling Kyrie. very Irving like. Fuck Kyrie. Not not very oozy. Not at all. Not oh, yeah. at all. But uh anyways, man, I think I think we are on for a beautiful ride to um to see where this goes next. Honestly, I think uh this bloodline stuff the past two years, I know we talked about it, it's been a long time, but like honestly, like these has been the best two years in terms of wrestling storyline that we have gotten in probably like what? Twi- since the 20 time of years, since, I'd say at least a good fifteen years. Actually, oh shit, more than that. Like at least sixteen, seventeen years since the times of uh, the Eddie. Rock and Hollywood. No, I the think Rock. Eddie because th- that wasn't really like a big storyline. That was just a moment. Eddie it was in really two thousand and five, like, right? Yeah, but Eddie, uh, th- that whole thing that obviously he had with Dominic, which is the best performance Dominic's ever had when he, when he was a kid. Sucks now, but uh, right, come on, man. I almost spit this water. <laughs> but that was a good storyline. Him and the whole thing with uh, um, with, Ray. with with Ray, yeah, with the whole uh, um, and Vicky going around. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, and unfortunately Juan's not here to talk about it. But but, uh, <laughs> but uh, mi familia, mi, fa- mi familia. But. Uh, <laughs> bro, I need to put that sound back. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> uh, but but that was that was actually a good storyline because uh, it's not just about like you were saying like yeah, Rock and Rock and Hogan was great, but it wasn't really a storyline. It was you know they had two matches and that was it. Like it wasn't really like this big huge huge thing. Uh, I mean, other than that, I, I can't 
off the top of my maybe the other story that was actually pretty good was when you had Randy against uh, uh against Triple H when he was like the Viper when he kissed Stephanie and all that stuff when he was about to kick her in the head. Oh, that the, was um, that was wild. That was good, but it was more violence than anything. It was more like this think, guy has just just lost it. I think the other closest um, storyline that you can think of, it's involving Roman Reigns, and it was the b- breakup of the Shield. But then again, that was a moment. Yeah, but like it didn't because well, yeah, we, we, yeah, we yeah, didn't because it the... wasn't it wasn't much of a storyline because yeah. of yeah, you're right, you're right. Because the one that seemed that it was gonna break up was uh, was uh, Dean Ambrose, because he was always the one that kind of like eh, kind of on the like outside on, looking yeah, in at some point, yeah. and all of a sudden it's Seth. It's like, what? What the hell happened here? Which nobody was I expecting mean, that. That was great TV. Yeah, everybody Phenomenal was nominal TV. The the biggest wow moment. Yeah, but then again, it was a moment. This is, I mean, that was a, a, a flash in the pan. This is like. A Hollywood Story. production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. going into a movie. This is like a series, bro. Yeah, this is a series. Fans. My wife, my wife was telling me the other. Day, she's like, she's like, what? Do you think this is like TV? I'm like, yo, this is entertaining as fuck. Like, I'm actually having a great time every time that I turn on Friday, on uh, Friday Night SmackDown, bro. And then, um, and then whenever the Bloodline is on Mondays, then I'll start watching that, you know, because Monday Night Raw sucks. So. <clears throat> yeah, but this week was good. This week was good. This week was good. Yeah. Which and, uh, and, go, ahead, go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, I was going to say ahead. that that in addition to that that we didn't we didn't talk about the the women's uh, uh Survivor Series match, which in my opinion was actually pretty good. It was good. Uh I did like a few things that they did. Uh one But but the United mm-hmm. States match was better. D- different. Very different. Very very different. But uh, but what I was gonna say about the women's match is that the wrestlers that that weren't getting any kind of pop, they were actually they were actually uh, realizing that they weren't getting a pop, so they did something. For example, when EO Sky came in, nobody gave a shit about her, but then she started doing like the, like the flips and shit, and everybody went crazy. You had Dakota Kai; she started bringing out uh, what is that, uh, the trash Get can? Get the like table. Yeah, you had Nikki Cross that nobody. Nobody reacted when she came out, but then she started bringing all the kendo sticks in, and everybody was like, "Then people started." So that that to me was a great way to get people involved, and everybody in the match got attention. Everybody, because uh, we knew that Bianca and and uh, and uh, Bianca Bailey and uh, Becky were gonna get huge pops, but they did a really good job with them. Because a lot of times, like for, like what you were saying with Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland didn't do anything. He just showed up like, you know, I'm here. He didn't do anything extra to well, get the people. Yeah, but he didn't get any. He he did. He didn't try to get over. Like he yeah, just he went did. there to do he his did, thing. Did. Yeah, yeah. He just he did. So which you should try to get over because that's your job, <laughs> right? If you want to make it big. That is. But a fact. Um, yeah, but I think but I think that was but it was it was a pretty good match. Um, I do think that uh, Becky did take a little bit of the shine off of Bianca. Well, because, to a certain on, extent, man. Becky, Becky's Becky, like yeah. And the yeah. whole man gimmick, doing the man gimmick again, that works really good. Oh, um, like she's ultimately like. I I still I think right now she's the best woman in WWE currently, besides yeah. uh, Bailey. Like her and Bailey are like up there. Which I hope they have a feud. It kind of is looking like from it on Monday. Hope so. From, I sure Monday, hope so. so. I sure hope so. Because we know they can work together really, really well. Oh, yeah. Like with the eyes closed. They, they don't even have to plan the match. They just have to get the finish and they just go. Yeah. Because we know they, they already know each other. They already know what to do. But, um, but yeah, but I, but I think it was, it, it, like I said, it was a pretty it was a pretty good match. I mean, it got, you know, it, it got the... Well, the good guys won, whatever, blah blah. Got people happy for the first match of the of the pay per view. So, yeah, and, and they did well. Oh, one thing that I did love, that I did love before I, before we continue with the next topic, is the whenever they were gonna do that pyramid. That I hate when they do that shit. When they start one uh, on the corner of the of the ring, and they so start doing per- like this pyramid, so, so they can predictable. But the good thing is this time they didn't do it. They got up there, but then they broke it up. And I was like, huh, that was refreshing. Because I was like, there they go with the stupid spot. 
again. It's like whenever they do the whole thing of like everybody decides to get in one spot so so and so could jump, and then they're taking like thirty seconds to get up there. Yeah, and then they oh. look at they they look down until they get the cameraman to just like they're like, are we good? Are we good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me jump. And they still miss. Like, bro, come <laughs> on, man. Yeah. So what? So what you think about the match? Did you like it? It was good. It was good. Uh, definitely, uh, it was much better than I thought, um, which I'm glad. Um, it was my best. It was the third best match of my uh, card. Um, I still think the theory match and Bobby the 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 U.S. title match. I think I thought it was better, to be honest with you. But it wasn't bad. Like I, I would give it a four out of five for the yeah. first time that they're they're mainly all in a in a war games match besides um, EO and Dakota. You know what yeah. I mean? But um, yeah, that was good. Oh, and Rhea Ripley because she's been in it. I yeah, think, Rhea Ripley yeah. looked like a beast there. Yeah. I'll give Bro, credit. like I was talk- I was talking to my wife I was about like, it. Like her, outfit, she's got to get a title. She huh? needs to get a different outfit, bro. I liked her oh. better with the longer pants. And hey, and some people, some people may call me suspect after that, but like, let's be real. Like, she's like built as fuck. She doesn't look that intimidating with the outfit that she has on. To me, she just looks like a dominatrix, and she's just ready to take some cheeks. Like that's to me, that's what she looks like. <laughs> like I want her if she's gonna look badass with this makeup and this hair and all that stuff, and she's built. The makeup and everything stuff, look up, look awesome. Yeah, I will yeah. Tell you that. Like, like she that, looked yo, impressive. Make her she looked look. Impressive. I thought with the longer pants, she looked more intimidating, but well, but I, it's like. Well, but I think it was also that the. I, I remember just when, wants to see ass. Well, but but remember, I, I, whenever they do the fitting and stuff like that, they probably made that a day or two before so it was just starting to write up and it's like eh, it's probably uncomfortable for her too let's be honest here like forget about you know ass or whatever it is just the matter of wrestling and that has to be uncomfortable as hell well she's so, wrestled a couple times with it so i think this is like her natural yeah. outfit but like i mean like in terms of a man's point of view of like looking at it just for eye candy yeah there's no there's uh, nothing wrong with it but Personally, I think she would look more badass that to form her character would be with the longer pants and the actual, you know what I mean? Uh, no, she would look more badass if she got rid of Dominic, but it's a whole nother ballgame. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> he makes anybody look bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um... Puppy. Oh, yeah, and then he had that mommy shirt or whatever it is. Oh, my God, oh, dude. But uh, anyways, man, moving on, we mentioned I mentioned the uh, the Austin Theory match. I am so yes. glad that we actually have a uh, a new U.S. title. Which, by the way, we called it. We called that theory was gonna mm-hmm. win. Everybody said that Seth Rollins was gonna retain. Nah, mm-hmm. we were like, nope, no. Uh, theory is looking strong. He's finally looking uh, strong, especially after getting rid of that money in the bank. He has a new character. And it's awesome, man. Theory, theory is gonna be good. He is the future. Yeah, like I he said before, the he's the new Randy Orton. He's basically the new Randy Orton. Yeah, his attitude, like now, I don't see him so, uh, as a douchebag anymore. Like he doesn't have that douchebag attitude anymore. No, he looks like he's ready to whoop some ass. Like yeah, yeah. And to look th- that credible when you have Lashley and Rollins next to you, yeah, you're doing something right. And he did, definitely doing something and right. And he did, like, he didn't get his ass whooped. No. Which was good. It looked great. It was, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. good match. It was a good, hard-hitting match. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I, th- I, thought, yeah. it was, I thought it was really, really good. Um, and, and, and like I said, I didn't like him before. But now I'm like, huh, this kid's actually pretty good. Oh, wait, sorry. I can't call him kid. He doesn't want to be called. Don't me. call him the kid, bro. <laughs> he doesn't but like I think being he's, called that. But I think it's really good. Plus the fact I, I do like that the win looks really credible because it's two made men, the ones he fought. It wasn't like he was fighting Ridge Holland and Baron Corbin. Or Dominic. So, what? Or Dominic. Who? Oh, yeah. Bro, oh, he's, he's on main event or something. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but, uh, Shoosh. <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, but but I thought, but, but honestly, I, I thought it was a good idea to put him and and have that credible win. It, it makes him a legit champion now. 
Yes. Um, and he can talk, he can wrestle. Man. So everything's good. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not sure if it's my second or third favorite match. It's that it's it's that it's really hard for me to determine which one just because of the it's they're so different like they're completely different like I could say of the women's and men's match I uh, I mean the men's match was better just because of the storyline and whatnot but then of the other matches like if I separate both then definitely of the regular matches that one by far was the best one. Bro, the Not Ronda the Ronda Rousey match was terrible. Oh god, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't. We didn't talk about that shit because it was bad, and we're trying we to be have positive. To. We're trying to be positive. Yes. You know what I mean. No. We're, we're, and then no. on top of that, the AJ Styles versus uh, Finn Balor. Why? Why? We didn't Another, need that. Yeah. We really didn't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just it, seemed anyways, like a random it, match they put together. It, it it seems like a match that they would have put Elias in, because you know they put Elias in the most random shit. Hey, Here you go. Not, talking about Elias on Monday Night Raw, Elias and Matt Riddle, I would like to see them fight against blood, the Bloodline, in which they are next Monday. <laughs> and I think that's going to be dope. <laughs> you know you want to hit the bong. <laughs> no. but uh, Yeah, that show is no, hilarious. I, I, no, I, can't, I, can't stand, I can't stand I can't stand Elias. Bro, come on, man. He's better than Ezekiel. Well, they're both ass. <laughs> but hey, we're getting we're getting the feud that I wanted. To be honest with you, what I really wanted whenever that came out, because the whole bloodline was there, I was hoping that it would be Sammy and Solo versus them two. I want to see well, Sammy yeah, why, and why, why, Solo why? together, bro. The thing and is, I, why do they have? They haven't earned the right to go against uh, the bloodline to get, have, go against Jimmy and Jay. They have not, but what happened was Riddle challenged them and challenged yeah, them. Yeah, and Jay, obviously. Jay was, Jay was like, hey, like, any time, any place, any minute, whatever, whatever. Like, pretty much showing, like, yo, you guys are ass. Like, we're going to get the dub. You imagine they lose. Fucking Roman Reigns would just flip, bro. He, you lost to Elias? No, 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 no. Who the fuck? fuck is that? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> like, fuck Roman Reigns. I'll flip out. <laughs> I'll flip out. We're gonna have to call call uh, 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 call Triple H on the bat phone. Hey, H, what the fuck's going on? Hey, yo, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Oh it's hell, like, where, no, nah, bro. It's like, go on, bring bring Vince back. <laughs> at that point, bro. At that point, Eric yeah. Bischoff. Better than Vince, probably. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, all right, cool. So then, um, so then we, um, I don't like at least with the whole the whole Becky thing with, uh, with uh, Bailey, like you were saying. It seems like they're gonna they're gonna fight. They went to the concession stands and all this stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I mean, and I'm glad that Be- that Bailey was by herself for a little bit. It I'm was that glimmer hope. of hope. It was that glimmer of hope that it's Bro, like. Yes. I'm at how three I'm, women got beat up by shirts. <laughs> Bro, the part that the, she did ass bust- threw a shirt at her and she said, <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is a Ooh. shirt, dude? <laughs> it's a shirt. Yeah. it's uh, But uh, the part I like was when uh, I think it was Dakota Kai hit the um, uh, hit the part, the, the back part of the of the stand and it literally fell on Becky and Becky was like, What the fuck? Like, I, I don't think she was expecting that. It was like, Wait a minute, what the hell? Yeah, that, that, that it was, was goofy. Just it was like, goofy. It was I'm goofy. Just like, it was dude, goofy. come on. Why is this happening? Yeah, it was goofy. It was goofy. But I, but I did like, uh, but the part before, right before that, where or Bailey's cutting the promo, where she was like, Ah, oh, ding dong, hello. You know, doing her, her old gimmick. Yeah. I was like, This promo is actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. I was like, There you go. Regular Bailey. Get rid of these other bombs. Bombs. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna happen anyways. soon. I think. I think. Uh, I think it's gonna happen very soon. To be honest with you. Yeah. But let's see. Um, and then I know we had a, uh, and obviously the the whole thing with KO, and you know he ended up beating uh, beating Jay, which I, I still don't know why we're gonna we we had that match. I guess they're probably gonna have him. Go for the gauntlet was, of uh, I was of actually guys. disappointed in that. I was actually very disappointed that he ended up losing. He's not gonna beat 
Kevin Owens. Remember, Jay's a um, tag team specialist. That's his. That's his yeah, thing. but he's also good, bro. Like Jay, main event Jay. Like, come on, man. But if you're gonna have Kevin Owens lose against Jay now, how the hell is he gonna face Roman? Yeah, but he could have won by interference. Why? Because he's a heel. Because he's a heel. <laughs> That's no, what but you no. would have said. It is true. No, it's what not. heels do. That's what makes him a heel. Whatever. Genius. Mo, what the hell's a heel, bro? By definition. It's <laughs> a bad guy. <laughs> and what the fuck do bad guys do? <laughs> Don't ask what you know. uh, But anyways. Um, yeah, so then uh, uh, we did have a... Um, Oh, the OC fight again. Yes, the judgment bro, day. The the rest of Monday Night Raw doesn't fucking matter, bro. Just just end the show there. Like, hey, no, wait, no. I was just gonna tell you that Rhea Ripley pinned Mia Yim or Minchin or Mia Yim. What the fuck's her name? I don't care <laughs> at this point. I Let's see what it is next Monday. <laughs> I personally don't give a fuck what her name is. Hey, your boys, the Street Profits came back. Oh, yeah, that was good. I really thought that we were going to get a betrayal right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the other things that happened weren't really that important because you have the whole Dexter Loomis thing, which I'm honestly in second. Which is finally over. I hope so. I hope so. It finally is. My, we don't have to deal with that shit anymore. So. I can't stand either of them. Like, they're really, like, super pissing me off already. Come but on, anyways. Bro. They're gold. Hmm. Gold. They're gold good. Filled. They're great. Gold filled. That's a little good. They ain't money. They are, Cheap ass chains. They are great. They are great. Like the Tony the Tiger. You know what I mean? With Frosted Flakes. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. When, they are great. You, whenever you were growing up and you were in college at that point, and I was just well, like, I'm five. <laughs> The fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, Coño. <laughs> they packed the carajo. They can be there. But uh, anyways, <laughs> Javi, go ahead and take it away. All right. So as always, um, uh, just remember to like, subscribe, uh, put that notification bell. Watch our shorts too. They're doing pretty good. So um, uh, just remember, uh, we the ones. They the twos and we the ones. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, oh as, as always, God. as always for for example, that was JJ the Zavi. Peace.